In this video, I want to explain how uh, a simple real-life problem can be uh, solved in different ways. Okay, so the, this is a problem, a real-life problem. So let's read the problem first. Sam is saving um, to buy an iPhone. He knows he has $300 in his bank. He thinks he can save $25 every week from the evening job he does. Sam's sister, Sienna, also is saving to buy an iPhone. She has 250 in her bank account, and she can save 35 every week from her, from her weekend jobs in, at the time, town library. Find when they will have saved the same amount. Okay, so Sam and Sienna are brothers and sisters. So Sam, this is Sam. And this is Sienna. So the first thing that I would like to do is to write what is what's the information. So Sam has three hundred dollars in his account. Okay, and it is this is in his bank. And he can save how much every week? He can save twenty-five dollars every week. Every week. Okay. For Sienna, she has only two fifty dollars in the bank, and she can save thirty-five dollars. So this is in the bank, and thirty-five dollars every week. We're going to do this in three possible ways or three ways. So first, let us make up a table. Okay. So one way is uh, doing this with the help of a table. So I'm going to write to Sam, sorry, week, week number, uh, Sam, or Sam, what Sam has. I'm only writing Sam and Sienna. So we'll start with zero. Zero means when you start, when they decided to save. So suppose they started it today. So this at when the time started, you can call that week zero. They have Sam has. 300 and Sienna has $250. So after one week, you add 25 to Sam, so that is 325, and you're adding 35, so this is 285. In the second week, uh, you add 25, so this is 350, and if you add 35, this is 310. Okay, am I right? Just to confirm, 285, 285 plus 35 is 320. Okay, so this is uh, 320. Yeah. So I'm adding uh, 385 plus 5 is 390 and plus 20, yeah, 320. So I'm adding 25. So this is easy, 375. And now you have to add 35. So 20 plus 35 is 355. Okay. The fourth week, you will have 400. So 335, 35 plus 55 plus 35. 55 plus 5 is 60. And 60 plus 30 is 390. Okay. And the fifth week, uh, he has two, 425, and this is 425. So this is one way of doing it. You can do it by making up a table. So keep going up. So this is your answer in the fifth week. When will they have saved the same amount? So the fifth week, they have saved the same amount. So if you graph this, so let's do it in the second way is graphical method. So, so first, let's draw the graph of Sam. Week zero, he has three hundred dollars. So this is three hundred dollars. Week zero. So on the x-axis, I'm taking the week, and on the y-axis, I'm taking the saving. On the y-axis, I'm taking the saving. So starts with three hundred. So then first week, three twenty-five, uh, three fifty. 375. Can you see this is this will go in a straight line? You can keep plotting the points like this. It will be a straight line. So let me draw 
a straight line. So this is the graph of Sam. Okay, so if you want to write the equation of this, so let me write uh, ys equation of this line. Y, I'll write in the bracket Sam. The equation of this line is 300. Suppose uh, your x, suppose this is mm, this is your x. If this is your x and this is your y, so x would be uh, y, which is your savings. Y is saving and x is the weak number. So can you think of writing an equation between this and this? So well, this is 300 plus this is increasing by how much? This is increasing by $25. So it will be 300 plus 25x. So what you do is 25 times 0 is uh, 0. So the, when x is 0, y is 300. When x is 1, y is 325 and so on. So this is the first, this is the graph of Sam. Now let me plot the graph for Sienna. For Sienna, she starts at 250. This is 250 here. Okay. And in the fifth week, we know she is, it's not, it's not possible to plot these. It's difficult to plot. So let me plot only the points. So I'll, I'm going to plot 320, 250 and 425. In the fifth week, she is saving 425 here. So this is the graph. So it will again be a straight line. So it will go like this. Okay. And so the equation for Sienna, y, I'll write in the bracket Sienna, is how much? It starts with 250 and it's increasing at the rate of 35. So it's 35x, where x stands for the number of week and y stands for the saving. So you can understand this is 35, 25, 250 plus 0. When you put 0 in place of x, you get 250. And if you put 1, 250 plus 35 is 285. So these are three different ways. So these are two ways in which you have solved the equation. Now, without doing the table and the graph, can we write the, can we do it in an algebraic way? Well, the question is, we know why S, that is saving for Sam, can be written as 300 plus 25x. Okay. And Y, which is saving for Sienna, for Sienna is 250, 250 plus 35x. So the question is, when would the savings be the same? When will they have saved the same amount? So here the question is, when is Y, that is saving for Sam, is equal to Y, which is the saving of Sienna? So the equation would be, the equation would be 300 plus 25x is equal to 250 plus 35x. So the technique to solve this type of equation is to bring the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So I'm going to take away 25x from this side. So you also take away 25x from this side. I want to bring the x's on the right hand side and the numbers on the left hand side. So I'm going to take away 250 from this side and I'm also going to take 250 from this side. So what we have done is we have taken away 25x from both sides and 250 from both sides. So by doing this what has happened is plus 250 minus 250 gets cancelled plus 25x and minus 25x gets cancelled. So 350 minus 300 minus 250 is 50 is equal to 10x. And now I'm going to divide both sides by x. So 50 divided by 10 is equal to 10 divided by 10x divided by 10. You're dividing both sides by 10. So this x and x gets cancelled. So this implies x is equal to 5. 
and that's what we got when x is phi can you see when x is phi the savings are equal 